Hi, this is Brian Rogers, Senior Manager at Armanino. Thought we would take a minute here and go through the dashboarding in Workday Adaptive Planning. If I go to my W over here, you can see I've got a dashboard option here. What most of our clients do within dashboards is create what's called a perspective for their team. They might actually walk people through how a budget is created or, or do some what if analysis like I've got here on cash flow planning. Um, I'll just pull up a couple, give you an idea what what we see. Um, you might have a chart, a graph, a line, KPI, a scorecard, um, and uh, you know all kinds of different metrics, waterfalls that we can do. And, and typically, like I said, you can you can create these tabs, but these perspectives for that uh, individual. That might be an executive view. You might have another one that's maybe it's particular to the finance team that there's going to be looking more at marketing expense and EBITDA and cash flow development. So a lot of things you can do here. And of course, all these are drillable in that we could we could update all of these graphs for a given org level. We'd have your entire org level in here and any data that's in here we can drill into and and see that. Uh, so let's say that I'm in my dashboards here and I want to I want to create a new dashboard. Um, I'm just going to go to new and this is going to be related to revenue, let's say, new perspective. And it brings me to this kind of empty screen here. I go to my edit button and you can see immediately these are the options that I have. And this is all, you know, point and click, drag and drop with my mouse. I can do a column, a line, an area, a bar, a pie, a donut, a waterfall, a gauge, a KPI, a scorecard, a pyramid, a funnel, a cross tab, a text. We can do maps in here. We could have a planning sheet or do some, uh, some dimension mapping. Uh, I'm just going to grab my column here and I'm going to make that a little bigger. I'm going to do a line graph here and I'm going to make that a little bigger. And then I'm going to do a waterfall. And I want to make that maybe a little bigger. And you can tell just with my mouse, I'm just grabbing the corners and figuring out how big I want this to be. I can then click on my filing cabinet, go to my accounts and figure out, you know, really what I want to graph here. Maybe I want to look at, at some different items on, on revenue. So I want to see how my product service and maintenance revenue, you know, looks uh, month over month. So I've got a trend there. Maybe I want to look at, um, you know, revenue just in a, in a line graph uh, throughout the year. And then, you know, maybe I want to see what that waterfall looks like uh, compared to my working budget. So you could see I've got any kind of budget up here, but I'm looking at the working budget in this particular version. And it immediately creates a waterfall, really a variance analysis to that working budget by those next items below it. Um, and you can easily change colors over here uh, to however you want that, uh, do double scales, that kind of thing. Uh, but very easy to do that. And once we have your dashboard ready, you could just hit done and share that with your team. But if I go back into dashboards here, and uh, what I could do is create really a report. It's called a snapshot in here. And you can see I can easily, I've got a company summary dashboard here and it's going to say you know what do I want to do here I'm going to click the download button and open that in a PDF and you can see I've got a, a full ready to share with my executive team um, ready for distribution you know PDF and I can I can schedule this to email to uh, different different users as needed but very user friendly, again, very much something that anybody who has access to, you know, has, has a subscription within your adaptive planning solution should be able to jump in and uh, put this together. Appreciate your time. Thanks.